Why? Why? A wild and dangerous police pursuit shuts down at 405 for hours overnight. Well, this afternoon, the 405 is open again, and an attempted murder suspect is nursing bites from a police dog. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal has new details on the man behind the wheel during that dangerous chase. Whoa. Whoa! 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 That guy was just firing a weapon! We watched as the muzzle of a gun flashed and bullets ricocheted off the pavement on the 405 freeway last night as attempted murder suspect Marcos Flores fired at the officers chasing him. Their return gunfire shattering the glass in the back window. This was just one part of the nearly two-hour chase that began around 10.30 in Reseda. Whoa. Police first spotted Flores on Sherman Way. He was wanted, accused of shooting his sister-in-law early Sunday morning in Van Nuys. Police say they were right to consider him armed and dangerous. A violent suspect, he's armed, so we needed to bring this pursuit to an end. Perfect pit maneuver right there. A police dog helped to take Flores into custody. This guy is subdued. But for the next six hours, a five-mile stretch of the 405 remained closed. The 405 is shut down completely. Finally, the lengthy police investigation wrapped up and traffic was able to start moving again just before 7. Flores, a known gang member, was first taken to the hospital to be treated for his injuries from the dog bite. As for the woman he allegedly shot, she's in critical condition. Here in Westwood, Jasmine Beal, KCAL 9 News.